Hey everybody, welcome to my channel. This is day two of the Earl Brown Coin Show. And she's up to 13 degrees right now, but I refuse to wear a winter coat because I'm a true Minnesotan. Should be warm out right now. It's spring for Don's sakes, so it's dang near close to spring. I mean, yesterday it was St. Patrick's Day, but we're gonna see what happens today. I did lose some inventory, but you know, that's the way it is. I do have more to replace. Um, see what happens with, the, with those silver rounds today. Uh, I'm going to set myself up to a little early bird deals here and there and uh, I'll loop you guys in. Hey everybody. Got a smile on my face. Um, so I walked around some tables and uh, some of these dealers are like, oh, yeah, I've seen you on YouTube and stuff like that. And I look at his stuff and he's got a lot of uh, Barber halves. I told him, I'm trying to work on that collection. Can you help me out? And so we got some content, guys. We're going to be doing a book fill. We got very, very low prices on these. He gave me a discount on top of that. I can't believe it. So wonderful guy. Um, Antique Coins in St. Paul. So... Big shout out to you. Thank you very much for helping me out with my collection. That means I only have a handful that I really need. So we're going to get that book filled faster than you know what. I failed to mention on the last video since it was so long, I also purchased this roll of uh, really nice uh, quarters for 17 times face from a customer. And I do plan on looking through these and see if there's any uh, double dies or rpms and stuff like that but uh we're gonna open pretty soon so that's a pretty good buy for sure hey everybody i'm home very exhausted today um it got kind of slow at the end again but um the sales weren't too bad today they just weren't as good as the first day um but i still have goals i i want to try and fulfill the barber half dollar book and sometimes you're looking for something and it doesn't really matter when you see something you just got to snatch it up I do have some beautiful things I want to show you you're gonna it's gonna blow your mind um so so the thing is with gold I mean I really want to get some gold but it's like it's it keeps going up in value and I want to ask you guys some questions and please leave a comment below what are your thoughts um should I be just cash stacking right now and wait for the market to come down on gold or do you think it's not going to go down and it's going to continue to rise? Um, I mean, it seems very ethical to like wait for that market to come down and have the cash at hand locked up in a safe and wait for that opportunity. Or is the opportunity just going to keep on rising and rising and now will be actually a good price? If we look in the future and we look back to today, you'd be like, should I have bought some more? Um, it seems like what's been happening is I've been selling a lot of gold. And people, a lot of people out there say gold is where I, is what I want. I don't, I don't want silver. And I'm like, really? You don't want silver? Well, it, it is what it is. It is. A lot, a lot of people have different views on what they want. I understand, and and I take it in, and it makes you think. Um, so a silver bullion rounds actually, you know, when I said yesterday, wait till tomorrow and see what happens. Guess what? They're gone. I sold them all. Um, I had a deal. I took a dollar off. If you're a subscriber to my channel, that didn't last long. Sold the whole lot. They're gone in cash. So I made a profit on those and I'm very happy. Um, sold another uh, $2.5 gold Indian. That's gone too. So um, a lot of things have changed today and I just wanted to stay focused on some things and I got something that basically in my opinion is going to be auction worthy. Let's check it out. So this is all the stuff from yesterday. More Barber has, more Barber has. We're trying to, we're gonna do a video where we're gonna fill all those. I'm trying to get them all. I'm getting really close, guys. And I got a lot of these for Gray Sheet. Um, and I don't want to spoil it, but there's some really good dates in here. So that is Barber has very good low prices on these things. Let's put these over here. And I really want to show you this. It's gonna dazzle you, dazzle you, dazzle you. So. This one right here. <laughs> Let's look at this one. Ready? Oh my goodness. Would you look at that? I mean, obviously it's artificial 20. We start seeing purple in there. Um, it's questionable color. 
but it's just beautiful. You know, I'm gonna have to start a a, a book uh, for Lincoln Sense or just a blank penny book because I got this one and I got this one, and you know something, it's just gonna look cool to just start stacking super tone pennies like this, even if they're ungradable because of possible questionable color. I think it's going to be some nice eye candy. Just beautiful. I'm really starting to get into that. Really love that. Now, this is the really cool thing. I had to have this one. This is what I was talking about on the first video from yesterday. This one right here. Oh, my goodness, guys. Look at this. A half cent. 1870. The toning is beautiful. Let's zoom in on this puppy. Ooh. Oh, yeah. Beautiful colors on both sides. It almost looks cameo. I mean, it almost looks like a proof. It's not a proof. It's Mint State 64. You know what I want to do? I don't like the holder. NGC is, you know, NGC is NGC, but they're, it's not as valuable like that, okay? I want to crack this out. I want to put this in a PCGS holder. When that comes back, I want to get green bean. If CAC is still around when by the time I get it back, this thing will be auction worthy. And I totally agree with that great Miss A64. If it crosses over, what if it got the same or even a 65? I mean, I, I it's gorgeous. It's just absolutely beautiful. It's a small coin, but the colors and it, I mean, it is so nice. I hardly see any scratches from here. It's such a tiny coin. There's some small ones, but you know, I don't know. I think it's going to cross over. I think it's a very good grade on this thing. Yeah, there we go. Gosh, just can't stop looking at that thing. Beautiful cobalt blues. Like I said, just it looks like a proof. That's got some exceptional eye appeal. That's going to hammer out. That's a pretty unique looking piece. Wow, I'm very, very happy that I got that. Can't believe it's worth more than certain Morgan dollars. Have a couple more pieces to show you. Um, I, uh, I've had customers ask me, do I have any Civil War tokens? And it just popped in my brain right at the end of the show, um, walking around trying to find some. And I really found some pretty cool ones. And I got these for Gray Sheet. Man, look at that cut on there. Isn't that sweet? Nice little cut, 1863 Civil War token exchange. That's cool. Um, some, you know, I'm not uh, very educated on these Civil War tokens, but there's a lot of them out there, and some of them are extremely valuable. Um, but I just want to take a close look at these. These are really cool, and they're hard to find. Not everybody's got these, and what a beautiful piece. This is <laughs> from the Union. I mean, that's cool. Very, very cool. Beautiful. One more thing, guys. We got ourselves a silver dollar collection. Let me zoom out a little bit. Right here. These are all artificially toned, and I paid a cold price. I actually uh, did a trade for four ounces of bullion plus $10. So let's open it up this way. Nice display piece. Yes. I thought they were going to sell right away, but guess why I did that little quick clip during the show but they're just neat let's take one out these will not grade i'm, I'm obviously look at all the blotching on there it is um artificial but i really like it i really like it i really like it a lot there we go interesting that's a san francisco 1921 pretty cool i like it you know let's look at all the other ones there we go 1924 what is that one? 22, a 22, and a 25. What is this one? Let's look at the mint mark. Let's see here. It's got one. Um, no mint marks. Is this a Philly? Yeah, that's nice. Um, normally, peace sellers don't tone out, so you know, you know, obviously, artificial. Red flag right there. But they're beautiful. Um, nice little desk piece. Um, let me know what you guys think about this. This is a pretty cool piece. So if you enjoyed the, today's video, please smash that like button. I really appreciate it. If you haven't subscribed, please subscribe to this channel. And let me know what your thoughts are on some of the things that I purchased today. And also what you think is going to happen in the market with gold. Should I be ethical, cash stack, and wait for a dip? 
or should I just say, you know what, let's try and make a deal with the wholesaler no matter what the cost is. Sometimes you just want to buy monthly and do dollar cost average or are you the kind of person that's going to wait for the market to go up then you decide to buy or are you going to wait till it drops nobody talks about it then you purchase you win some you lose some i mean sometimes i i i do haggle a little bit i have to bring my prices down a little bit here sometimes just to make a deal but at the same time i'm looking for real prized investment pieces here and there i want to try and stack the best I'm Numa's Max Stacker. I got to get these things. And I, I listen to what people want. And I try to hunt for those things. And hopefully, you know, over time, I've seen people that have been collecting for 20 years doing these shows. They have amassed a lot of things. And so things happen when you are out there and you're buying from people. Your your coin collection is going to be a lot more, uh, a lot more variety, a lot more eye-catching things that you uh, it's just going to make you stand out a little bit more. And, you know, if you're just starting, this, these are the three things that are going to sell good. Morgan Dollars, Silver Bullion, and Gold. Like Fractionals, uh, Tenth Ounces. Um, sometimes, you know, those St. Gaudens might go. But uh, people are starting looking for smaller denominated gold. And it does sell like hotcakes. I'd have to say... 60% of my sales so far have been gold, but thinking about trying to replace that, what that cost is going to be, since I'm going to have probably a little gap for a couple months after these next couple shows. So we'll see what happens with the market, guys. Thank you for watching, and I'll see you on the next video. Thank you for tuning in.